Hello and welcome to this video walkthrough of the new ManVFAT talk site. The talk site is a forum that we use on ManVFAT which allows people to post and read messages, to lurk, to learn, to uh, ask questions, to get help, all those different things. It's the, the place where the community side of ManVFAT really comes into its own. The new site is full of lots of different features and I'm not going to try and go through all of them in this particular video but what I wanted to do was just give you an overview of what happens on the site and what you can find there. The interesting thing that you'll probably be able to see is that on the first page there aren't actually sub forums anymore. There are There is just one page which is split according to categories. So the different categories, what the fudge, Man v fat, food, sweating, help, victories, funny, all these different things all appear on this first page. So everything is centralised. If ever you want to get back to the home page, simply click the logo in the top left hand corner and you'll automatically return there. The right, top right hand side here has four icons which you can use for the majority of um, moving around the site that you'll need. The top right one is your avatar but it links into all the different things that you'll need for your own profile on the site. First of all of these is profile. This is where you can put your information about who you are, links to any blogs or Twitter feeds that you've got and generally change things like your avatar. We'll have a look at this profile section in a second. Messages are for messages that people send you through the site. If you want to you can get notification of these messages on email. Bookmarks are any just um, bookmarks that you make from around the site and preferences is where you can change a lot of your profile preferences so let's have a look at that. Here's your preferences screen you'll see that you'll be able to invite people you'll be able to change your preferences and here are some of the different things that you can change. You can change your profile background which is for your user home page you can change your avatar and you can change your user card background we'll have a look at that in a minute here you can add in as much information as you like about you, about links off to what your sites are, you can add that into your website and you can choose your email options so whether or not you receive emails from the site it does a very good digest email um, for anything that you might have missed on the site. Here let's just uh, walk through changing your avatar if you want to switch you can either go for a system assigned avatar, a gravatar if you've got one or you can add a custom picture. Here you just upload the picture and it automatically crops it so that it fits. Once you've done that, save your changes and you're done. So if we return to the home page again, here this hamburger symbol gives you another set of options for different things around the site. Have a look into all of these but basically these are lots of different shortcuts that you can get to places around the site. It's useful to read the FAQ which also goes into detail about the things that you can do on the site and the keyboard shortcuts is a very useful set of commands that you can use to uh, post, to read, to find new sites. Here the search is extremely in-depth, it will find topics, posts, users or categories so if there's someone that you want to track down on the site, perhaps if it's an amazing loser who you wanted to, to have a chat with, uh, or if you want to find a particular topic that's been discussed before, then this is the place to do it. Finally, these are your messages. These um, are a stream of activity of all the different things that have happened, whether people have accepted your invitations, read different posts that you've made or replied. Again, have a look around and you'll probably be able to make sense of it all yourself. Here, the second level of menu, categories are all the different uh, topics that are split up according to subject. You can track all of these by if there's one in particular that you're really interested in, whether it's fitness, whether it's finding out about helping people or getting help yourself, whether it's all the uh, different victories that people are reporting. That's a, a useful way of splitting up the content that's on the site. Latest provides all the latest posts. New provides all the posts that you've since you've last logged on. The unread are the ones that uh, you haven't actually come to yet. Starred or anything that you can star on this side, so you can uh, specifically say that you want to find out more information about that, and that will appear on the starred. The top posts are quite a useful function where you can find the different views that have had, the posts have had and you can split it down by year, month or daily. So if you're just catching up with the site and trying to find out what's been popular in the last week, month or year then that's a great place to go. 
Again, categories, just as the categories here, you can find all of the posts in a particular section, or you can find drill down into the content that way. <clears throat> Finally, just very quickly, looking at how to create a new topic on the site. As you might see, it's uh, you can just click on the new topic button here, or you can press the letter C on your keyboard if you're using the um, site on your PC or laptop. And it just brings up this dialog box here. If you want to get rid of it, just hide it. And here, oh, it guides you through everything that you need to do. But the main thing is, is to give it a topic, choose a category for it, try and be as specific as possible, whether it's funny, whether it's some help that you need, whether it's something you don't understand, uh, whether it's something to do with the fitness category. And here is where you type in your information. As you type in your information, it will be previewed on this screen here, as you'll see. So, so as it posts, it comes across here. Here it's just telling me that this is um, similar to a number of different topics that have already been posted. This is useful if you're looking for information, say for example on the 5-2 diet or a particular topic. And here it might actually tell you that someone's already posted about this and it's already received replies. So you might be able to read and contribute to that topic rather than start your own. Of course, if you want to add different information, so if you want to add a YouTube um, video, an image, that's very easily done. Again, you can use, for an image, you can upload from your device, or you can also use it from the web. But you can, let's have a look for a YouTube video, for example. So we're just going to go and grab a a quick YouTube. I guess this is Harish Bani. And just to show you how it renders it immediately. You don't have to do anything. It's very, very simple. And once you've done, simply post the new topic and it will automatically appear under the category that you've chosen. I'm going to cancel this one. And that's about it. The, I'll post some more videos in due course about how to use different functions of the website and the forum. but. Primarily, that's all you'll need to know for now. If you've got any questions, then feel free to comment to me in a post. If you wanted to find someone, you can always at them. If you use at, then it will bring up a list of the people who you're wanting to talk to. So here, for example, I'm sending myself a message, or indeed, you can send yourself a message here. Enjoy the site.